Honestly, I'm tired of spending two hours at a time out here doing it by hand. Alrighty, I'm going to do something a little unorthodox. We just had a small shower pass over. And by small, I mean really small. Had a lot of thunder. And it did rain for a little bit, but nothing measurable. Let's just, for the fun of it, go and check. Here's our rain gauge. A drop, a drop fell out of it. I don't know if we're gonna get more rain. We're in that time of year where there's a 20 to 30% chance every afternoon. Uh, so you never know. However, we're getting ready to go away for almost a week and we're gonna have to find someone to come and take care of the garden while we're gone which includes watering to water the garden we're gonna use this device right here this sprinkler I don't really like using sprinklers because I prefer to water the roots get all the water down near the base of the plant and that water will eventually get there with a sprinkler but it's gonna run over all the leaves and all that stuff um, I feel like water gets wasted that way However, we're kind of in a pinch. And honestly, I'm tired of spending two hours at a time out here doing it by hand. This is a cheap solution and it'll be good for whomever comes and helps us out. They won't have to be out here for two hours. They can turn the sprinkler on, leave, come back, turn the sprinkler off. So this process has got two steps. One, get the sprinkler set up and adjust it so that the garden gets good coverage and only in the garden not everything else around it and then the second thing i've got to do is i got to measure the rate see how long it takes for mm, i don't know i guess about an inch to collect so i'll find some sort of cup or can or something that i can collect that water in and measure it Okay, so the first attempt, not that great. Uh, not quite wide enough spray to get everything. And I was kind of hoping I could set it up here in just this one side and just keep every, all the water in that direction. Looks like I'm probably gonna have to set the thing up in the middle and just go this way with it. Take two. Okay, it's not my favorite solution because a lot of water is getting wasted that's watering ground where there's nothing growing but except maybe those weeds, that wild strawberry trying to come up underneath the weed cloth and it's just thinking, oh boy, here I go, I get some more stuff. This will have to work while we're on vacation though, whether I've got it on timer or just a good friend is coming. Uh, the flow will work, it will reach everything that it needs to reach. Now, I'm gonna set this dish up on the edge and see how long it takes for an inch of water to collect here. This is about an inch and a quarter deep, so this will be a good measurement. The timer's going. I'm going to pause you guys and let you know how long it takes. See you in a few.
while our water test continues to run in the background here, going to plant a couple of new tomato plants that I started. These are some clippings that I took off some of those healthy plants. And I did lose a plant uh, a couple of weeks ago, but one of the other healthier plants had this huge sucker that I had not seen and didn't realize how big it had gotten. So I decided I would cut it and see if I can make another plant out of it to, to add to what we had. And you can see it's got quite the root system here. So it is ready to plant. It was actually ready to plant several days ago, but I wanted the heat wave to get past so this would have a better chance of surviving the stress of the transfer. It's been an hour that the sprinkler ran. So let's just stop and let's see how much water collected in that dish in one hour. We've moved over to a level spot so we can measure this more accurately. It looks like we got somewhere between five, eight, excuse me, three eighths and a half an inch of water collected in this dish in one hour of running the sprinkler. That's not a real great flow rate in my opinion. We'll have to work with it though. We'll see what we can do to make my life easier when I'm not on vacation and then to make anybody's life easier who may be watching the garden for us. A post sprinkler test editing note. You know, I set up that plate over there to collect the water to see how long it would take to water an inch worth of rain using that sprinkler and only got to about a half an inch. Um, I realized a little bit later that, duh, I've got a rain gauge right here. Really, all I had to do was just see how long it took the rain gauge to fill up duh anyway why don't you do me a favor because i'm such a goober will you go down there and give me a thumbs up so everyone will know you like it and maybe even share it with somebody to say hey look at this guy go ahead and subscribe while you're down there so you can keep up with all of my uh, efforts to turn this place into a suburban homestead and as you can see that there's a lot to be learned here and you don't want to miss the um, hilarious efforts at learning those lessons. Always remember, the one who created you made you able to create also. So get out there and make it, grow it, and live it. See you next time.